Fala meus queridos e minhas queridas, sejam muito bem-vindos a mais um episódio de Genshin Impact E hoje a gente vai para Inazuma pessoal, finalmente né Eu dei uma demorada para trazer o Genshin Impact porque tivemos uma polêmica esses dias Com o Genshin Impact e seu aniversário que foi decepcionante Ad Astra Abyssosk, o que posso fazer para você, traveler? Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Is that correct? Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. There you are. You're the traveler that Beido will be taking to Inazuma, right? The fleet is nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a headcount, we can get underway. Captain Beto sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Beto is the captain of our word. Of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss, Each step you take is another achievement. Until we meet again, Ad Astra Abyssosk. Oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. We practically see each other every day. <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. So there's another Catherine in Inazuma? No need to get all sappy now. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyun Stone Forest. Okay, thanks for coming all this way to let us know. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. A capitã está esperando a gente. Temos a missão a imovível deusa e a eutermia eterna. Pra gente ir pra Inazuma, né? Como eu tava falando pra vocês, pessoal Tivemos o um aniversário de um ano de Genshin Impact Foi decepcionante Porque tivemos 20 tiros E também E também uma asa, né? Uma asa, 20 tiros E uma lira Sendo que no começo do game A gente conseguiu pelo menos 40 tiros Lembrando que o Genshin Impact Nos primeiros 3 meses Ele arrecadou em torno de 3 bilhões então, cara, foi decepcionante, né? É claro que a comunidade ficou revoltada. Foi lá no game, fez um review bomb, né? Todo mundo deu nota 1. Só que aí a empresa, por ser chinesa, começou a censurar a pessoa, começou a deletar a pessoa. E isso daí deu uma desanimada pra caramba, principalmente pra mim. O Genshin Impact, ele é um jogo grátis, lembrando a vocês, né? Um jogo grátis, muito bonito. Eu, na minha opinião, é um dos jogos mais legais da atualidade. Só que a empresa, por ser, né, talvez, principalmente pela influência da China, tem esse pensamento aí mais fechado, né. Lembrando que não justifica, de certa forma, porque a empresa tem um, um outro game, que foi, veio antes, né, do Genshin Impact, que é o Honkai Impact, e lá eles se deram muito bem, né, porque é outro pessoal ah, trabalhando. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. <laughs> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation of eternity. Anchors away!
<laughs> oh, hey there. So, you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. Shush! You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlanders' sterling deeds at bay. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Oh, right. Kazuha. Until next time, Traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beto! Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just gonna walk into the government's hands? <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Chegamos em Nazuma, pessoal. Vamos conhecer aqui o Japão feudal, né? Eu particularmente gosto bastante de da tanto da temática do Japão feudal como a cultura, né? Acho bem interessante. Vamos conhecer aqui. Para finalizar o que eu falei para vocês, pessoal. Tivemos essa polêmica e todo mundo ficou desanimado, criou aquele climão, né? Então, por isso eu resolvi só trazer agora a Genshin Impact. Porque meio que tava difícil de você tancar, né? Depois do que aconteceu aí. Até porque o, a empresa nem criou um evento de aniversário. Não teve nem evento de aniversário. Nada mencionando o aniversário. Se não fosse a gente lembrar da, de quando o game lançou, né? Que seria o aniversário dele. Ninguém nem ia se tocar. Então ficou aquele negócio, né? E agora vamos ver na né, Inazuma aqui, conhecer um pouco. Vou primeiro dar uma olhada aí, pra gente ver. Ó, o tamanho do mapa. Aparentemente tem um mapa considerável, né? A maioria deve ser mar, então... Meio que já divide por aí. Tem a, porque Inazuma é assim, é dividido em ilhas. Então tem as ilhas que a gente vai se locomover. Temos um barquinho agora, né? O um sistema de barquinho. Pra gente se locomover de uma ilha para outra. Até abrir os teleportes. Aí depois que abrir o teleporte a gente já vai direto. Olha o samurai aí. Bom, Toma deve estar esperando a gente ali. Aqui, ó. Deve estar esperando a gente aí que a gente vai fazer o registro. Então vamos ver o que vai rolar aí. Hello, please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you, Toma. You must be new here. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. 
So, unless you have a valid reason for visiting in accordance with the rules... Um... Uh... We... Uh... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Here are their entry papers, for your kind perusal. What? Ugh, take your time, no rush or anything! <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to retail. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh. So it is super strict, just like everyone says. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku Decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. O que a gente já pode tirar daí? A comissão de Kanjo, que é a comissão da da guarda-costa da Bal, né, da Raiden. Ela meio que controla toda a Inazuma, né? Ou seja, visitantes não têm aquela liberdade para estar tá andando para cima e para baixo. Porque temos uma ditadura da Shogun, né? Então a gente vai ter que burlar esse sistema aí para poder avançar, pessoal. Deixa eu ver o que, que tem aqui. Nós temos o que aqui? Tem uns guardas de, de Ganjou. Ó um castelo, olha aí, ó. Castelo, não sei se é. é um, acho que é um castelo, né? Deve ser um castelo, não deve ser um templo, não. Muito top, cara. Eu acho muito bonita essas estruturas assim japonesas. Eu achei irado. Aí a bandeirinha do clã. Esse é o clã Kanjou? Eu acho que é o clã Kanjou, né? Kanjou. Ó, até eles fizeram até. Vocês viram ali, né? Até a areinha. Eles colocaram assim o efeito de quando a gente ara a areia e fica aquele tipo como se fosse uma ondinha. Até isso eles colocaram, mano. Muito legal. Aqui nós temos o que? Nós temos um. Parece um lugar de treinamento. Vamos ver aqui. You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency? Both of you? Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. Paimon wasn't so much questioning your math as... Ugh. <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to... 400,000 mora total. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? That's not how you haggle! By all means, bargain the price down, but... All right then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. <laughs> Much obliged. It's not as mind-boggling as you think. Processing fee is just a figure of speech. 
The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all their worth! <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. <sighs> Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you're outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Uh-huh. And is that likely? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Really? Wow, the Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it could be done. However, before we get there, connections come at a high price, you understand? Ugh, not you too. <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that, if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle, so you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The head of the association is called Karisu, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. Caramba, pessoal, caro o valor ali do hotel, hein? E na zona é tão fechada que quando vê um visitante, ele literalmente se aproveita dele, né? E o Toma me lembra muito o Child, cara. Eu fico meio com o Child na cabeça assim, e eu particularmente não gosto do Child. Oh. Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. Ah, the Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. Ah, good. That's a relief. You need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sakoku Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sokoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, but in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No, what's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is... those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on Rito, isn't it? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What's that? 
<sighs> Something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for crystal marrow drove the price higher and higher. <sighs> now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle, the consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... <sighs> We've tried communicating with the Commission directly, but this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Fontaine, my dear homeland. I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Sounds awful. They're really bleeding them dry. What do you think we should do? But Chris is the head of the association, and even he hasn't had any luck. Not to mention, we're outlanders too. <sighs> right. And besides, I think this may well be the fate they've ordained for us. Okay. Well, we could try tackling the problem by going to the other party involved. <sighs> that vendor... I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Got it! We're on the case! Vamos lá, né? Confissões de um forasteiro. A gente vai ter que falar com um carinha aqui. Tenho que falar que o cenário de Inazuma é muito bonito, cara. Essas Asakura aí. Eu acho que é a Asakura esses rosinha, né? Deve ser a Asakura. Traz um detalhe todo diferenciado, né? Pra Inazuma. Muito legal. É esse carinha aqui, o, o, o Ernie. I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Real fixers don't need to refer to themselves that way. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? This guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Karisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable, not by a single mora. Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying for me in the first place, and they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Good idea. Let's check back in with him. Vamos lá, falar com o Toma para tentar resolver essa situação. Eu tô com um sentimento assim que parece que tem alguma trama por trás disso, cara. Vocês perceberam? Parece que tem uma, alguma trama por trás disso. Eu tô mandou a gente fazer umas missões aí pra galera e resolver uns problemas. Já começou assim, né? Já começamos a resolver um problema dos outros. Uhum. Isso foi rápido. Você resolveu já? Um, 
actually, we're having a little trouble. Oh? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by, but he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt? You were talking about... M Mondstadt? Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Ah, oh, my hometown. The home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! <sighs> oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! You mean... the sound of the ocean? <gasps> Leah Harbor! I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. Xiao Lanterns! <laughs> I'm right there at the Lantern Rite. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that or he really does miss Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Liyue. Liyue. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean... the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them, 
and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I can't show my face there. Ugh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? Hmm... you're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose. Let's go. Conseguimos, pessoal. Ele literalmente foi vencido no sentimento, né? Eu mostrei coisas de Liu Yi pra ele e coisas de Monster, sendo que esse cara é de Monster. E ele acabou concordando agora com a gente e nos ajudar, né? E a partir daqui a gente vai avançar e finalizar essa missão dele. E provavelmente a gente vai conseguir sair dessa região e avançar para outras regiões, que eu tô bastante curioso. A gente não chegou em Nazuma, a gente tá na região de Nazuma, mas a cidade de Nazuma ainda não é aí. Então eu vou ir lá, forte abraço e até a próxima. Eu fui!